What? <laughs> what am I your girl? <laughs> uh, and... and no. <laughs> Pump it up! Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kelly. Welcome to our happy hour. We're the marketing team for the Martin Family Wineries and Distilleries. So that's Montezuma Winery, Idle Ridge Winery, and Fossil View Winery. And Hidden Marsh Distillery and Alder Creek Distillery. We're excited to have you guys back here again with us tonight. Yeah. Um, tonight we are tasting two of Montezuma Winery's Cabernet Francs. I'm so so excited. yeah, very exciting. So we have two different styles, so both made with the same grapes. One, the one that I'm tasting tonight is the 2019 Cabernet Franc, um, which was aged in stainless steel. And the one Kelly has is the Kestrel, and that is our barrel aged Cabernet Franc. Yeah. So we thought it'd be kind of fun to taste them both side by side and uh, tell you guys what we think about yeah. them. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the wine. <laughs> let's get into it. So I have the 2019 Cabernet Franc. This is made with 100% Cabernet Franc grapes. Um, this was sourced from Sawmill Creek Vineyards in Hector, New York. Um, so a local vineyard that we got these from. And like I said before, it's aged in stainless steel, so it's going to be a lighter red, which I'm super excited to try this one because I'm personally a white wine drinker. I'm not. Not yet. I'm not really into reds, so I feel like this is a good way to get into it. Um, We're bringing we... her over to the dark side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a good way to like get into the red wine. So, I mean, it looks beautiful. I'm excited to taste it. Yeah. How about yours? I, I, I've already tasted that. <laughs> She's like, I'm fully really <laughs> I know, I love it. Yeah, so I'm excited. 100% yeah. um, Cabernet Franc. Mm -hmm. aged in oak yep. so um, the difference between the oak aged and the stainless steel aged this has more of like a darker um, flavor and aromas mm -hmm. than the brighter fruit right um, from the stainless so um, which I definitely get brighter fruit just from smelling this yeah mm. I do love the smell of red wine I guess some like dark cherry oh yeah and you know I another thing. I get some cherry too, but it's not as dark. It's like a kind of like a sweet, like or sour cherry. Whereas this one would be more like a black cherry. Right. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. I am pleasantly surprised. Not that I didn't have hope that it's a good wine, just for me personally, because like I said, I'm not a huge red wine drinker. And you know, in the tasting room. If somebody was to say that I'm not a huge red wine drinker, I right. would recommend a stainless steel. Yes. Oh yeah, red. I love it. It's very um, light, fruity for sure, and I love that. And this I actually did stick in the fridge about a half hour ago, so it has kind of a chill, which I always like chilled wine, so yeah. I feel like that helps too. Mm. How are you liking yours? I'm liking it. Um, I'm getting a little black pepper, mm. that dark cherry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I got the cherry, and I feel like I got some blackberry, too. Definitely the berry. A lot of berry, which I'm liking. Yeah. I feel like this would go good with, like, a chili. Ooh, I could see that. I think our winemaker recommends, like, a gorgonzola cheese. Oh, yeah. Um, that would be really good. Like a mac and cheese. <laughs> we should have got some. That sounds amazing <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, a gorgonzola mac and cheese. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, all right, I'm sold. <laughs> yeah. This... So as a white wine drinker, I mean, Rieslings are like one of my top five favorite wines. And as we all know, like the Finger Lakes are known for Rieslings. Right. Um, but what I think, what I don't think a lot of people know is that Cabernet Franc is like the red grape of the Finger Lakes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so the Cab Franc grape mm -hmm. came over from France. Oh, interesting. Um, to California specifically, right. but in the 1900s. Okay. And Cab Franc is one of the parent grapes of Merlot and Cab Sauvignon. Oh wow, I didn't yeah. know that either. Ah, yeah, that's pretty cool. cool. Wine history knowledge, that's cool. Yeah. And I feel like, uh, like we were saying, it's such a popular wine in the Finger Lakes, you know, really gaining traction, all of that stuff, um, kind of goes with the wine trail. Um, are the Cube Lake wine trail is actually promoting Cabernet Francs along the trail this month for yep, December. For the, for the month of December, they're having a um, one of the month um, promotion going mm -hmm. on, and um, 
a handful of the wineries are yeah. offering promotions on their Cab Francs. Right. Ours this month is a two-pack that includes one each of our 2019 Cab Franc and our Kestrel, and that's $33.99. Yep, and that's available in our tasting room and online. Yep, all month long. Right, and it's a great way to, you know, try these like we are tonight and compare them because, like we said, they're they're crafted in different styles. So right. it's really it's interesting. Nice to, yeah. yeah. And that's like Cabernet Franc, like it's pretty versatile. Like you can make it in that style, you can also make it in this style. I mean, stock your wine cellar. Right, and for Christmas time, I mean, winter ahead, oh. having red wines on hand like this, I feel like it's perfect going into the winter season. I thought I was a seasonal, like, red wine drinker, mm -hmm. but, like, I find myself drinking this Cab Franc, the stainless steel mm -hmm. aged Cab Franc, in the summertime. Because really? Because it... Well, it is, it's light and refreshing. Exactly. I can see that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so I'm really glad we did this because it's getting me outside of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I'm trying a line that I probably wouldn't typically try, but I actually really love it. Yeah. Um, and I That's feel so like, fun. right, and this is such a good time of the year to explore these kinds of wines. I mean, there's no season for wines. You can drink whatever wine <laughs> you want whenever, but I mean, cooler winter months, usually red wines are the go-to. Yeah. So I feel like it's a good time to, to sip on these, these beauties. Definitely is. Yeah. Um, so we hope you guys can get in and try our Cabernet Francs um, for the promotion that we're having. Great opportunity to do that and try the other ones along the wine trail. Yeah. I can't wait to check them out. I know. I was just thinking that myself. Like, all right, which ones am I going to go try now? Let's see, let's see yeah. what I like. And we hope yeah. we will see you guys for our next one. Ooh. We have a little holiday treat in store I'm for so Christmas excited. coming up. And yeah, that one's going to be. So, it's going to be so much fun. Oh yeah, so we hope to see you guys there. Thanks for joining us and here's to bringing us together one glass at a time. Cheers.